Okay. How y'all doing? Hey. Ms. Murchison's here. Okay. So uh, this is my first time actually coming to this church. So I first of all, I just want to thank everybody for having me here tonight and Pastor Swan. And uh, this is going to be great. So um, the first poem I'm going to do, I'm going to do two. Uh, the first poem is actually a true poem. It's about my mother and father. Uh, since I think the, the theme of the evening was um, the history of black women. So this is my mother's story. She is not nearly as pretty as my mother. My brother and I make faces at her when she is not looking. Her dress is always too tight and her hair is teased and dyed, but she makes my father feel young again. My mother doesn't know about her. One day she and my father drop me and my brother off at the Main Street movie complex, giving us $20 each. We spend the next eight hours eating our way through all things good, buttery, and sweet. Eight hours later, we skip back out onto the sidewalk and wait for hours, and our father never comes. It is dark when we board the last bus of the day and ride home, our stomachs aching not from the pounds of butter and sugar and salt, but what we knew would happen next when we arrived back home. As we stepped off the bus, Daddy's white Cadillac sped up beside us. Daddy, we both screamed, and just then Mama peeked out the front door, her head a halo of blue plastic rollers. Come inside, she said, before you catch your breath. We fall in line, her army of misfits, sitting down for a dinner of Dad's favorites, chicken, corn, and sweet potatoes. On Dad's first bite, Mama asked, where on earth have you been for the entire day and night? And without a second thought, my brother and I yell, we saw three movies. Just as my father says, we went fishing on the lake. (laughs) The room swelled. Our words hung in the air with no one to rescue them. Mama said nothing more. The only sound that dared to remain was fork scraping plate, fork scraping plate. So that's called good man. All right. And I do have a wonderful father. That was just their story. Okay. All right. So this is a, because there are a lot of little brown girls here in the, uh, in the church. So this is called Little Brown Girl. Her Princess Tiana shoelaces are tangled into a makeshift bow as she paints her fingernails and toes with magic bubbles. Carefully blowing each nail, her red and yellow sundress is dotted with, with drops of orange freeze pop. With hands on both hips, she stops to check her own reflection in the car door. More, she yells with all the energy her two-year-old, her two-year-old lungs can conjure up, smiling when her juice cup runneth over. This little brown girl has the world at her tiny flip-flopped feet. This little brown girl can be anything she wants to be. Thank you. Thank you.